Hello, I'm Jerry Rigged, and this is the Duskers Daily Challenge, August 7th, 2016. Uh, looking at the leaderboard, no one has finished it yet. Could be a long ship, could be just a difficult one. Let's see what we have. Starting out with a sensor, which could explain time. Sensors take a little bit longer to use just because you don't have... I'm going to go ahead and keep that on. We have one infestation type, which could be very beneficial, or could be horrible. Of course, my concern with infestation types is always going to be slime until... I see otherwise. So I have actually do have a pretty big ship as well. I think I'd like to start with that one. And unfortunately, because I have sensor. This means this will take some time. No, I don't want to start with that one. I was wrong. I want to start by moving something into a room where I can get into the other room. Um. Oh, and I have reroute power, so actually I can do quite a bit today. And decontaminate! I've never actually used decontaminate. Never had a reason to. Um... So, if a pipe bursts, that could be very useful. I've never used it, so I don't know exactly what that'll do. I don't know exactly how that'll work. But, yeah. What I'm doing, ultimately, is giving plenty of time for a leaper to move through. Now, Sarah, my number one drone, does have a good bit of health, so I might just take that chance. Unfortunately, well, if there's Swarm, they would have already moved, so I'm, I think this room must be safe. And thanks to the survey, I know where the doors are. I don't have to worry about any doors being open, except for door 10 up there. So that's very good. I'm going to open D14 again since I can get around a little bit now. And I'm going to do the same thing with R6 to see if I can get something in there. The downside with Sensor is that, like Lure, it is a very reactive tool. Upgrade. Lure is worse in that some things don't attack it and so you have no way of knowing. Sensor at least does give you an extremely responsive means of detecting. Okay, still have another survey. Have a vent. Now, Nothing attacks sensors, except for turrets. I know that what we have moves, and I know that it's not a turret, a sentry. So I actually want to get back in there, and I think at this point we're safe. And we can't get through anyway. Okay, so that could be Swarm, that could be a Leaper. It could not be a Sentry, and it's definitely not Slime. Since it's not Slime, I'm actually in pretty good shape, because I can travel around. What I'm actually going to do is open that, because it's closer to the center of R5. And... There are a few things I could do... I'm going to reroute from R2, R3, R4. Don't need to reroute R5 yet. R11. 
R10. I'm going to leave it at that for now, and I'm going to open D21 as well. Remember, ideally in... Actually, I'm going to see if I can add R6 on that. I think I had, yes. Just in case a swarm, it is swarm and it starts attacking D18, I don't want to give it that chance. I want to just push it out into space. At this point, there's really no reason not to push it out into space, but I don't want to just do it and assume the room is clear. Right now I have a sensor in that room so I can detect and I am... Okay. I hadn't considered what to do with that then. I guess I guess my best bet is to try to get it both into R6. Right, well, I figured that would happen. Okay, so I've got everything trapped in R6 right now. Again, that's my better case scenario. But right now, I want to check out this. Okay, and five is clear. Okay, and I just heard what I do not want to hear. I'm gonna wait till it breaks. R6. Not terribly worried about that then. As long as they don't start attacking, I'm safe. I don't have to worry about anything at all. And again, sensors sensors are definitely a lot stronger than lure just because they detect if for no other reason right I opened that one okay with the sensor I can detect any type of enemy and if it gets destroyed then that tells me something as well So, I definitely prefer it to lure, and I just realized, I just remembered that I can't get through this way. It's actually fine, because I was going to go through D23, but that means I need to remember to explore this whole room. Now, there is a significant advantage disadvantage here. If I had stealth, I would be golden. I would be very happy. But I don't. Now, I open D21. Okay. So, I knew that room was clear. Now, I want to start doing that with some other things. And I want to actually see how far I can push this and try to power R5. I can't power R5. I don't need R3 if I'm going to get R5. And unfortunately, I have to retype this whole line. Okay, and that powered everything that I need. Still don't know what kind of enemy this is. And that does have me a little uneasy, but things could be a lot worse. I'm going to go ahead and check D27 and D25. And in a ship like this, and I've suggested this before, I believe, your best bet, what you really want to do, is power right through the center. If you power through the center, then you can access a lot of rooms very easily without having to 
ex without having to stress your resources. Now... I'm actually going to let it back into R14. And that way I can check uh, R17. And then I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with R15. Okay, that's a complication. Um, right now, I do have other rooms that I can move these things into. I can move this one in R4 into R11 and then R12. And that'll, again, keep me free to explore R17, which should now be safe. Given the speed that some of these things are moving, I strongly suspect they're swarm. And that could end up being dangerous for me, but right now, I don't have too many in a single location. Or too many in a location that's dangerous to me. Right now, the only one that's dangerous to me is R6. And I can vent that as needed. So, I'm not very concerned. Having this one in R11, that's a little bit of a risk. But it's not really bad. Let me check R8. I am very strongly considering venting R6, but I don't want to. I don't want to lose that avenue for getting rid of the one in R10 either, and it's possible door 7 could break. R8 is a small room though, so I'm going to go ahead and take a chance with my drone. And what I'm actually going to do... is go ahead and check R17. No, I'm not. I want to double check that for some reason. I'm kind of feeling paranoid right now. So I'm going to go ahead and backtrack. I'm going to go ahead and open D29. Now there's a problem... I'm not going to do D29 yet. I'm going to do D31. There's a problem with D29, and that is... D10. I'm also going to open D9, and as a precaution, I'm trying to get both of those into the same room. Ideally, room 12. Okay. And I think I'm actually going to do the same thing while I'm waiting and get room 14 into room 10 and try to get all three of those into room 12. It's kind of a silly thing overall, but... And I feel confident in saying that room 16 should be clear. So I'm gonna head up through here. This is a long drive, so it's actually fairly dangerous. If something happened to come down while I was in the middle of the room, it would have been extremely bad for me. Damn. So, right now, room 17 should be clear. It's had plenty of opportunity to clear out. Damn. Moving three into a single room is extremely difficult, and the only reason I'm really doing it... There we go is in the hope that... Okay, Asteroids, room 12 and 11. 11 would really hurt because it would take out a lot of my exploration options, but it would not be the end of the world. I have a firmly installed upgrade, which is not going to help me at all. 
and one more room, two more, three more rooms that I have not explored. What I'm going to do, right now I have no way of killing things, and how much, okay, two and a half minutes. Right now I have no way of killing things, and way too many enemies floating around. I'm actually strongly considering blowing those airlocks. The downside is, I mean, nothing's in the rooms. But if I somehow get a scan, I'm going to want those. So, what I'm actually going to do, everything is closed. Let me check R9. Okay, I've got a minute. R2. Okay, those are low chances to hit, so I should be okay. And actually, I'm going to do this. That's going to let anything into a neighboring room, if it exists. And that's... A, okay. I'm going to go ahead and end right now, because I do not want to be in R2 if an asteroid hits it. If an asteroid does hit it, I'm kind of SOL, because I have ac do not have access to any other generators. But there's nothing else that I can do at that point. I've still got two or three rooms left to search, as I said. And it's looking like they're clear, because I don't have anything coming through. But I'm not going to take that for granted. I'm not going to take a 31 or 14% chance to hit as a guaranteed miss, either. It could still happen. I've seen them hit with lower chances. And I've seen them hit other rooms that they weren't predicted. Unfortunately, this is going to be a very idle moment while I wait for that to happen. And if it doesn't happen, then we can continue on without any other worries. Or, at least, no worries anytime soon. Should be any moment now. I don't actually have a bad habit. I've got a timer in the corner of my screen, and I do not look at it when I see 59 seconds or anything like that. It does tell you when, so it should be very shortly. Uh... If you've watched my In the Mood series with Duskers, then you'll know that really this ship is looking a lot like home right now because I do end up with a sensor in every room. And this is why it's a strength. Because I feel it's a strength because I could see... If I could teleport these sensors like I do in my campaign, then I could see R13 and R9 clear because I would have a sensor in those rooms. I could see if R15 was clear. I'm... It normally says when they miss. And at this point, I am sure I've gone past a minute. So... Not sure what happened there, but I'm going to consider it safe. And I'm going to continue on. I'm fairly certain that 9 and 13 are safe, so I'm going to go ahead and check those out first. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and reroute down to 14 and open D26. If something's in R15, then I can close it off and be safe there. And then I'm going to, nope, not 8, 9, and 13. And then I'm going to do that again so I can go through and check those first. Give plenty of time for anything to get through. Which it shouldn't need. It's, it's a very small room, so at this point it should be safe. I expect it's safe. I do hear a noise there, but it sounds like the sentry noise. 
And I found the fuel. GE is not the correct command. And that looks like it. So, I've almost completed this ship. Very happy with that. Just have one room left, and I'll be at 100% of the search. Close everything, because I don't want to have to go back and do that again. And reroute R2, R3, R4, R11, and R14. And that should be all I need. hear air hissing right there. One scrap. And just for being, just for sake of being thorough, that is every room has a sensor. Did not know you could actually do that where you didn't use the semicolon. To separate a command, so that is very interesting to know. Now, I don't know what these are. They are definitely not sentries. They could be leapers, and they could be swarm. But, I don't like them, and I've said before, sometimes I can be, well, a little bit vindictive, a little bit mean, a little bit well, yes. So, this ship is now free of infestations. Hopefully, whatever is now out roaming in space will not run into any other ships. I don't think there are that many floating around, so we should be safe. Uh, I did forget to do one thing, though, and it's kind of an important thing. And see if I can do this. I think I can. Did I... Which ones are 2, 3, 5, and 7? I can't do this in one go. I'm going to have to do this twice. I completely forgot before I did that. Which makes me sad. But before I did that. Because you can have... Different... Uh, interfaces with different... Options. I did want to... I did want to check each one, and there are three total on the ship. Four total on the ship, but I can't get to R6 anymore. Um, so I'm going to check R17 as well. And if they have survey, then I can use reroute to power much of the ship. And potentially get a lot more scrap. And you always, when possible, want to check that option. Unfortunately, in this case, it is not true. But ship scan is a powerful tool. If I had a probe, I would make sure that it explored the entire ship, except R6 now. That is all doors closed. That's all scrap gathered. Wind is not a valid command. And no damage taken. I've used a lot of sensors, and 12 sensors is one scrap. But... I can't teleport them around, which is an advantage if you have a teleport module. So, that's pretty much what I have to do. I'm fairly sure. I could be wrong, but I don't believe you can pick them up either. I think I've seen it tried, and I think I've tried it myself. Nothing yet. So, you can't pick up a sensor once you use it. If you have a teleport and you have sensor, it is a good tactic. Teleport into R2. Teleport the sensor into R2. And if it's clear, then you teleport the sensor into R3. And if 3 is clear, then you teleport the sensor into R5. And so on because that means you can save the sensor and as I said 12 sensors is one scrap 
you might, I don't know, you might actually use, using that teleport, if you weren't going to use the teleport otherwise, might be a better tactic, because using the teleport means you're going to have to repair it eventually. That said, there's got to be a balance somewhere, and I wouldn't be surprised if that was it. I do think that's a little bit better tactic than mine, which is just to teleport sensors across the entire ship, but imagine if we were starting and you could see where all of the enemies were, it's a powerful tool, that's why I use that strategy. Overall, quick end, I don't know what score to expect, 700 is not bad, uh, that was a perfect run. So I would expect, I would hope, that I'm going to be at the top of the list. If I'm not at the top of the list, then maybe there's still something random in these. Um, I'm not trying to sound bitter, but that was a perfect run. I'm very proud of that. It was a good ship. It was a big ship. It's a long video, and I like those. Uh, someone somehow got 820. No idea what's going on there. But... Another 700, another 700, a 690. So, solid position on the leaderboard, and a good ship today. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a good day.